Hi everyone. Previously, we have made a lot of tutorials to build Beetle from a kit, but there are too many details. Today, I'm going to give you a quick guide on the pre-assembled Beetle. If you get a pre-assembled Beetle, the parts may be out of the place after a long journey. So first, we need to put everything back to Beetle's body. First, its neck. Notice the matching parts between the neck and the body. We first insert the back end into the body. And here we can see from the bottom how these parts are matching together. And then we push the front part and you should hear a click sound. Now the neck and the body are well engaged and they are quite tight. However, if the robot hits the ground from the head, the neck will get disengaged. It's not a defect, but a designed mechanism to release the force rather than breaking the parts. And you can restore the structure quickly after the accident. It's easy and interesting to put the battery onto Beetle. Observe that on the battery and the body, there are two matching structures. And you need to match them, push them together, and then slide. That's it. Another time. Push, slide. Right? It's also convenient to swap batteries if you have a spare one. Before turning on the batteries, you need to adjust Beetle's joints to the right direction. Just like this. You may notice that there is a knot at each joint, and it may disturb the rotation of the joint. So we can pull the cable up to remove them. Be patient on this process. Now the knots are removed. We can do the same thing for the back legs. If you don't organize the legs in the right direction and turn on the power, the legs may get stuck and break the servos. You may want to open Beetle's back cover to see what's inside. And it takes some tricks. Use one finger to push one side of the waist. And another finger to push the other side of the cover. Then use your second hand to drag the cover. So it's open. This cross-section cartoon illustrates the steps more clearly. Another time. Hold, push, and drag. That's it. In my case, the Bluetooth dongle is already installed into the board. If not, you can take out the dongle and match the pins on the dongle and the night board. Then insert the dongle in the right direction. It's not mandatory to use a Bluetooth dongle. You can still use the infrared remote, but this dongle will allow you to control with the smartphone app. If you click the button on the battery, it will show the battery's capacity and then beam. The battery is not turned on. But if you long press the battery button for more than 3 seconds, the battery will start to power the board. And you can see the lights are lighting up.
you can use our smartphone app to connect to the robot. Scan the Bluetooth devices within the app. On some Android machines, you may need to give location permission. After connecting, you can use the previewed command buttons or write your own command buttons to control the robot's motion. For more advanced features, please go to docs.atoy.com. Thanks for watching.